everybody, it's Mark Wood here with TTN HD, and we are here on the set of Learn from the Master. We moved from downtown Boston. We are now in downtown Medford at director Rizzo's house, and I'm joined here by Franco Trombino, one of the stars of the film. Now, Franco, what was your role here today? Uh, well, this is a, um, a promotional trailer, um, uh, and uh, uh, it's fantastic working with John, uh, John Rizzo, one of the... Uh, the best shooters uh, I've ever worked with. You know, uh, he was director of photography on our film, The Intensive, mm -hmm. and he called me up and he said, you know, I need you to come down. Um, I got an idea, and um, uh, we hashed it out. Came down here today, and uh, you know, it worked out great. Well, uh, my part was, uh, the character's name was Bluto. Uh, tough guy, neighborhood boss, mm -hmm. you know, thinks he's all that. Um, operates on fear, intimidation. And basically, his crew is, you know, it's mixed up. It's not uh, any one ethnic group. And um, it was just, uh, uh, it was a good challenge uh, because uh, we didn't have a lot of time to prepare. And it was just basically run and gun. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Showing, uh, showing his uh, big shot side and then showing uh, violent emotion. Now, how do you prepare for your roles, sort of getting into the, the character that you played today? Well, basically, I do it the same uh, regardless of the role. Um, you, you try to take it within yourself. You try to find out. First, you know, you, you, you understand the story. You, 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 know, you read it. You, you get a sense of the director and the writer. In this case, of course, John. Mm -hmm. um, and then you got to... My, my, my thing is find that within you. No such thing as I couldn't be that. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. Mm -hmm. I put myself in that place. I'm, I, I, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. I run things. I don't like anybody that's not paying me. Yeah. No one isn't feeding me tribute. Yep. I'm done with. So you mentioned that you were in a, you were involved with John on a, a previous project, The Intensive. Can you tell us a little bit about how what what in what is that? So people that don't know. Yeah, well, it was a feature film. Uh, I, I I wrote it and uh, I put it together as a project to intentionally uh, try to complete a high level feature mm -hmm. with no money. So and there's no budget on this. No budget. And, wow. And in fact, we had determined after I had. Uh, um, uh, 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 taken on my director Shane D. Reimer. Yeah. Uh, we brought John Rizzo on as director of photography. Mm -hmm. um, we decided we re refused money. It was going to be either donations, time, accumulate the best talent, uh, solicit the best possible cast crew, put it together, shoot it from start to finish, and have it come out quality. That it could be done in Boston. It, it has been attempted, but never really done because the community needs to get together. And that's what we managed mm -hmm. to do. We pulled everybody together. So, wow, well, uh, what kind of uh, scenes you mentioned you did a lot of shooting around Boston? What, what kind of sites were you shooting on? Uh, um, sites? Yeah, like the shooting locations. Oh, yeah, well, one thing, one thing again, um, it, it gets back to being able to complete something, is that the intensive, with the intensive, we intentionally made sure that our locations were tight, small, and controllable. Mm -hmm. Not too much outdoor, um, uh, you know, a little bit, you know, what we could do, but nothing that involved, you know, having to stop traffic, mostly uh, a secure, controllable interior locations. It was a drama, dialogue driven, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and we needed to be able to shoot and cover. And also we needed to maybe get back on pickups if there, if there was a problem, as, there, as, as you often do. And so we ended up using six to seven locations as our primary shooting, rather than the 25 locations that are generally written yep. for scripts. So after the intensive and after today, what's the future for you? Do you are looking around for uh, gigs right now, or got anything uh, in the works? Yeah, well, you know, we've we've got some ideas floating around. Um, we're we're uh, of course in post uh, production with the intensive. Mm -hmm. it's, it's cutting wonderfully, and we're going to be hoping to put it into festivals starting in about October. Um, so with that, um, d devoting my attention to you know really promoting it, and then maybe look to next spring and put something else together, drive everybody crazy again. Well, in talking about promotion, uh, how can people get in touch with you? Find out about the movie, the, uh, the intensive. Uh, well, go to our website. Um, uh, it's hooked into our CQ4 Productions, which is the production company, mm -hmm. um, and it's the intensive. So it's www.theintensivemovie.com, right. and you can go right to that, and uh, has all of our contact information and. Uh, you know, we, we, we're, we're always available to help out. We like to be involved with the community. Anything we can do, we're there for, mm -hmm. for Boston. Well, Franco, thanks for joining us, sitting down, having a quick talk with us. I know you're busy today. You're on set. We're doing the movie right here in the background. You can probably hear them behind us. They're, they're playing with the, uh, the, the jib right now, doing the opening scene. So uh, thanks for joining us here in TTN. It's been a pleasure to sit down and interview with you. Mark Wood here with TTN HD. Stay with us here, productionliveonline.com.